Um, alrighty, so next part. That's so slow. Over here. So, after the adders, the signals also come over here. They split into two groups. And the groups come to that um, piston array and that piston array as well. When you press either the add or subtract button, it'll send a current through this wire right here, which will push the pistons down and allow an output to be made on uh, these memory gates. I don't know what these things are called. I don't know any of the terminology for redstone or your strange gates. I just throw out random words. Anyway, so whether you plus put plus or minus, they'll go into these gates and save them, save the current right here. These currents go into the, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to go into the right side. Yeah, these, these ones go, this right side goes into the right side, left side goes into the left side, obviously. Um, this is just a crazy array of an adder and a subtractor. <laughs> so the bottom is the adder. These are my attempt at making um, instant repeaters. I don't know how well it worked. I don't know if it sped it up at all. I was just going crazy because it took so long. But anyway, so the adders, this is the adder output. This is just the simple addition, which makes my life super easy. And then on the top, we have our subtractor, which is basically an adder with an inverted, with one of the numbers inverted and then adding one. And then you do it twice because you sometimes you get negative numbers. So if it's positive, I don't know if you guys, the guys have seen the, um, what's the word, the tutorial on making a subtractor or an adder, but basically if this line right here, the output to the adder is on, it's going to be a negative number, which will also change which one of these works. So if it's the first, if it's a positive number, the first row of subtractors is correct, so it uses these guys which the lines have been bus over here to these, this piston array, which is down right now because it's a positive number. When it's negative, well, when it's, yeah, when it's a positive number, these pistons will retract, which will pull the blocks that they're holding back up. It's just basically the same block system I've been using the whole time. Since the number is negative, it uses the second subtractor right here, or the second adder, which is inverted to be a subtractor, which goes into this output right here, and the pistons are retracted, which allows the current to come through. Um, it always does addition and subtraction, depending on what you choose. For example, if you chose an addition, these pistons would be extended and these pistons would be retracted. Um, because we did subtraction, these ones are down. Addition, those ones would be down. Pretty straightforward. Um, can I get through here? No, I cannot. And so these come through, that's how you select whether it's addition or subtraction. I should go show you this little circuit over here. This basically is the same thing as everything else. You press the single, or you'll, you press the button input, and it switches. If you press um, addition, it will make this one turn on and this one turn off. If you press subtraction, this one turns off, this one turns on. Subtraction will always turn this one on and always turn this one off. Addition is the opposite way. Always this one on, always this one off. That's pretty easy how it works. It works the same way as the uh, memory gates over there. Over here we've got a little complex mechanism, not really. But this is basically to make it add or subtract. When you press addition, I believe it's this line right here. It comes through and this piston pushes. It isn't, these, neither of these are sticky pistons. So if it's addition, the piston gets pushed over there. This signal turns off, which makes this signal turn on, which allows for the um, display to be the numbers that you're inputting live, I guess you could say. Um, when you push the equal sign, I guess this is actually addition or subtraction will do the same thing. Um, this is the subtraction line right here, this is the addition, this is the equal. When you press the equal sign, the piston gets pushed over there, which turns this output on, or off, sorry, sorry, off which turns these on, which allows for the um, solution to go into the display instead of the live numbers. I think that actually might be it. Yeah, um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with this, but not as much as I thought I would. Um, the main thing I had, 
errors with was like putting one of these too far. So like I put the repeater like right there so the signal doesn't reach. I had so many of those, it drove me crazy. I had to go through and fix all of them. It took years. Um, another problem was busting the lines. I'm retarded at it because I don't usually build things this big. So like this mess over here is trying to bust the lines over. This is also doing the same thing. Yeah, it's a mess. And then, yep, so the signals go into here. They switch from binary back to decimal. This only, this um, giant system goes from 0 to 199. Even though you can never get to 199, it was just for the ease of how to build it. 199 just fit, so I might, figured I might as well put it in. Um, you'll only be able to add to 198 because you can do 99 plus 99, which is 198. So that's the highest output you'll ever be able to get to. The displays are pretty simple. I'm pretty sure I did it probably exactly the same way everybody else did it because it's just a like, super straightforward way. Um, the hardest part <laughs> was getting a 3x3 three three output of these to turn on. I'm sure. I don't actually think you need this. No, you don't need that or that. Um, you might need those, so I'm going to leave them. Yeah, so I was just... I've never done display before, so these were just a mess for me. I had to go play around like over there for the longest time trying to get these to work. I eventually got them to work, and getting these to hook up to them was super easy. Basically, the way this works is since this one is lit up, I believe this is the number four, six, eh, that's backwards, I guess. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Since the 6 is off right here, all the torches in an array of a number 6. So you basically just like draw a 6, like the top 3 right here. And then, is it backwards? It's backwards over here. So since we want these two to be off and that one to be on, over here we have these two missing and that one there. So it lights up that. Uh, path comes through and touches this guy which makes this light turn on they're pretty straightforward nothing overly complicated about them um, for the negative I just had like a wire this is connected to the negative wire comes through here and I basically just added on a little extra thing in the back which is a negative number and it comes through as like a line to make it negative so there we go. If you'd like a more thorough demonstration, explanation, and all that, I'd be happy to, but this video is currently 17 minutes long, and it's recorded on my iPhone. I'm sorry about that. I don't have a proper screen recording software that doesn't destroy my computer. It's bad as it is, so I use my phone set up on a glass. Um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, please subscribe, like, and give me any ideas you have for other videos that I can make, or not other videos, sorry, other contraptions to make. Right now, I'm working on a mini game, which is going to be huge. Um, lots of people have made the mini game, but they've made it really, really badly. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but just, it's going to be really awesome. There's going to be a lot of math involved. I'm pretty much going to build this entire calculator again for the mini game. It's going to be crazy. Anyway, so I'm going to be working on that for quite a while, probably. But after that, I'm going to be happy to take suggestions, whatever you guys have. Just let me know with a comment or a message, anything you want. Um, I'll probably take up the challenge unless it's something ridiculous, like making like a graphing calculator or something. I don't know how to do that yet. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, any of that. Give me criticism if you want. Um, I'm gonna go now, so thank you for watching. Feel free to watch my other videos. Have a good day.